Have you ever heard talks of old and superstitious people regarding what you should do whenever you get lost in the forest? According to old tales, one who wanders around in a forest overlooked by a supernatural creature will tend to get lost or seemingly walk around in circles, despite walking a straight and singular path. If the myths are to be believed, the only way to break free of this spell is to turn your clothes inside out. This is a myth that has a wide-reaching influence. This tale has been told all over Europe and Asia and even some parts of America. Where did this tale originate? Well, we can thank the Slavic mythological creature, the Leshy, for this odd tale. Leshy is a male woodland spirit in Slavic mythology who protects wild animals and forests. There are also Leshachika, Lezachka, wives of the Leshak, and Leshanki, children of the Lesi. He is roughly analogous to the Woodwos of Western Europe and the Bonsajan of the Bosque country. This Slavic folklore creature is a caring spirit of the forest. He is a guardian of trees and animals. He and his helpers, the minor demons, take care of all aspects of the forest. He is particularly unfavorable towards hunters and lumbermen. Depending on the crime, he may entangle the hunting trails, feed the hunters to predators, or brings them to madness by urging them to eat poisonous fruits. Leshy usually manifests himself as a humanoid creature with the face of an old man. He can change his size and take the form of a wolf, a bear, or even turn himself into the wind. He is always on guard and always watchful. He's very powerful, so it's better to please him than to fight him. The church turned him into an evil creature and gave him the features of a demon, also known as Boruta. Other names and spellings include Lesovi, Lesnik, Lesun, Lesni, Lesak, and Leshak. Leshi or Baruta would be the negative inversion of the god Boravit, subsequent to the introduction of Christianity in the Slavic peoples. Boravit is also portrayed as an imposing figure with horns over the head, surrounded by packs of wolves and bears. Leshi is analogous to the wood woes of Western Europe, the Green Man of Britain, and the Bonsojuan of the Bosque Country. The Leshi is known by a variety of names and spellings including Lesai, Leshi, Lezi, Lezovic, etc. A Leshi usually appears as a tall man, but he is able to change his size from that of a blade of grass to a very tall tree. He has hair and a beard made from living grass and vines, and is sometimes depicted with a tail, goat's hooves, and horns like pan. He has pale white skin that contrasts with his bright green eyes. Aleshi has a close bond with the gray wolf and is often seen in the company of bears as well. He is the forest lord and carries a club to express that he is master of the wood. He has blue blood, which makes his cheeks the shade of blue. He has fiery green pop-out eyes. Legend describes him as having a red scarf and his left shoe on his right foot. He also has no shadow. He was really big, but to hide from people in the forest, he turned into dwarf-like creatures. Leshy is the protector of all animals and birds in the forest. Mass migration of animals supposedly happens at Leshy's instruction. He is said to have the ability to shapeshift into any form, animal, or plant. When he is in human form, he looks like a common peasant except that his eyes glow and his shoes are on backwards. In some tales, he appears to visitors as a large talking mushroom. He can also vary in size, shrinking himself to the height of a blade of grass when moving through open fields, or growing to the size of the tallest trees when in the forest. If a person befriends a leshy, the latter will teach them the secrets of magic. Farmers and shepherds would make packs with the leshy to protect their crops and sheep. The leshy has many tricks, including leading peasants astray, making them sick, or tickling them to death. They are also known to hide the axes of woodcutters. If a leshy crosses the path of a person in the woods, the person will get lost immediately. To find the way out, you have to turn your clothes inside out and wear your shoes on opposite feet. Leshies are terribly mischievous beings. They have horrible cries and can imitate voices of people familiar to wanderers and lure them back into their caves, where the Leshies will tickle them to death. They also remove signs from their posts. Leshies aren't evil, although they enjoy misguiding humans and kidnapping young women, 
They are also known to keep grazing cattle from wandering too far into the forest and getting lost. Sometimes cow herders will make packs with the Leshy by handing him their crosses from around their necks and sharing communion with him after Christian church gatherings. These packs are said to give the cow herds special powers. If more than one Leshy inhabits a forest, they will fight for territorial rights. The evidence is in the fallen trees scattered about and scared animals. The Leshy is fond of trees and is said to be heard weeping when one is cut down. He is also said to live in deep caves that lie in the mountainous regions. A Leshy has a close bond with a wolf and is often seen in the company of bears as well. In myth and art, the Leshy is often associated with the psychotropic mushroom Amanita muscaria. This may connect him in some way to the shamanic mind-altering techniques. In his evil form, Leshy became a terrible mischievous being that could imitate voices of people familiar to wanderers and lure them back to his caves, where he would tickle them to death. He has many tricks, including leading peasants astray, making them sick, or tickling them to death. He is also known to hide the axes of woodchoppers. Upon entering a forest, one always uttered a protective spell or prayer lest they run into him. Should one ever encounter Leshy, one must thwart himself immediately by turning all their clothes inside out and backwards as well as the collar of one's horse and placing your shoes on opposite feet. Other remedies include the sign of the cross or singing sheep's mug, sheep's wool. But in the worst extremity, setting the forest ablaze behind you should grow him so concerned with putting out the fire that he will forget why his mischief fell upon your poor soul. If he got hold of a child, he might replace it with one of his own, a changeling, who would grow up stupid with a voracious appetite. If the child returned, it would ever afterward be a useless tramp. When the leshy got his hands on an adult, the adult would return sometimes mute, and covered with moss, other times unable to concentrate and would act oddly for the rest of their lives. The Leshy likes offerings of kasha, sweat, balini, bread and salt. He is also perfectly happy with a cookie or candy left on a stump or log. To protect against the Leshy, one should turn all his clothing backward, chant or get him to laugh. When the Leshy could be coaxed to befriend a human, the human often had to make a pact never again wear a cross or take the Eucharist. In return, the Leshy would teach the human the secrets of magic. Sometimes cow herders would make packs with Leshies by handing them their cross from around their neck and, of course, sharing communion with them after Christian church gatherings. These packs are said to give the cow's men special powers. The Leshy is a demon or spirit of the Dictionary Inferno. There is a Slavic forest being similar in nature to the Polovic sprites. He protects the birds, trees, and animals of the forest. He appears in the shape of a human with blue skin, two great horns, green hair, a long beard, and a she-goat across his face. And from the waist down, they had a goat's body carrying a club or whip indicating his mastery of the forest. They would shrink themselves to the height of the grass when marching through fields but would grow to the size of the tallest trees when they ran through the forest. They had horrible cries, but could imitate voices familiar to wanderers and could lure them back to their caves where they would tickle them almost to death. Should one ever encounter a Leshy, one must thwart himself immediately by turning all one's clothes inside out and backwards and placing one's shoes on opposite feet. So that's the story of the Leshy and why you need to turn your clothes inside out if you happen to get lost in the forest.